finally made it to Vancouver. Look at this. Oh, airport's a disaster. Rip through customs. I can't even get a flight uh, to my city, Kelowna. So now I'm stuck getting a Range Rover from the boys at August. Actually, thanks to them, I'm not stuck. And uh, I'll be driving six and a half hours to Kelowna in a snowstorm. Or hopefully it's not a storm anymore. Holy shit, it is so cold. And it's not normally like this here, I swear. Just because it's Canada. <laughs> Man, Vancouver got hit hard. It's fucking freezing out. Holy crap. Now I gotta get a cab and I gotta go see Uncle Ray Ray and get a Range Rover and drive what is four hours in a bit. Probably gonna be six because it's gonna be slower. And here we are. Oh, SR Auto Group. Uncle Ray Ray put Snoopy and his Bugatti on the side of his van. Isn't that cute? Oh my God. Thanks, boss. Appreciate you. Have a great day. Happy holidays, man. I'm staying with you guys for Christmas. Oh, look what you got me. All these presents. <laughs> Dude, I barely made it back. What the hell's going on here? Why is this? What? It's who, a winter wonderland. Did you order this? What the hell? Let us know. Who wants this much winter here? Vancouver's not supposed to be like this. It sucks. It's supposed to be like the opposite of Toronto. Yep. I thought I flew to the wrong city. <laughs> we are much different. Holy There's my ride. SVR, baby. It's gonna get me home. Totally Christmassy in here. Everything is red, white. Alpha is cool. Senna, we'll come back to that. I have, a, I have a question for you. We have obviously the Agera, the Pagani is no longer jammed in between the wall. And look, hopefully it doesn't have a dead battery. And the P1, get the P1 chilling. It's pretty cool. Took a thumbnail. So, Raymond, Uncle Raymond is trying to, trying to sell me on the Senna. Now, the 720, we're gonna bring it back to life. Hey, what's up, JDM Space? How's life? Great. Where are you going? Every time I have a camera out, he runs away because we always bug him. So I guess the question is, should should I pick up a Senna? Or is it just really just a big fancy version of a 720? Uncle Ray Ray, always trying to sell me something. Or maybe I'm just trying to sell myself. It's pretty sick. Look at the size of that wing, holy crap. pretty cool it's pretty cool I'm just waiting for Raymond by the way he's on his way here so hopefully I can say hi give him a Merry Christmas hug so I know how much he loves hugs <clears throat> I mean it looks you know other than the glass doors it looks just like a 720 inside but I mean the downforce on a Senna is like crazy be cool painting this with like that same livery with that paint that I did on the 720 GTR yay or nay you guys let me know yeah Senna <clears throat> so the boys at August came to the rescue and I'm driving this beast all the way back I'm a huge Range Rover fan, by the way. Big Range Rover fan. SVR, I think it's a great vehicle. We got some really good snow tires on there, which we are going to need. It's already been, obviously, ripping through the snow. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up. They also sound pretty damn good. Oh, 
yeah. Oh, this is the one. This is literally the truck Mike was driving. Billionaire. This is Billionaire Mike's Jeep. Or uh, not Jeep. Uh, range. Look at this guy. In style, buddy. Hey, bro. How have you been? How are you? I miss you. I miss you. I miss Snoopy. Where's the Bugatti? Where, why uh, do you have snow tires on the Bugatti? I drove it the other day. Yeah, you drove it 15 feet. I saw your post. But you I shoveled. Drove it. You Daily shoveled. driven exotics. I drove it. Bullshit. Uh, 15 feet is 15 feet, bro. Dude, this is what... You're, you and Dave, you guys are like best friends now. You and your S-classes and your luxury vehicles. So what about what are you driving right now? That looks uh, like a luxury vehicle, doesn't it? It's a loner. Still, I would never own one of those. Yeah, but who I would, hate Range Rovers. The fact that somebody would loan you a Range Rover? Uh-huh. It's the only go. way I can get home. I can't even there's, fly, there's no bro. No. Like, you think I want to well, you gotta drive, drive six hours? Because if it's four hours and 15 minutes, oh, you then it. add this. It's just going to be two hours longer. It's going to be a disaster. And then uh, tonight's supposed to be another disaster. Yeah, it's minus 20 right now in Kelowna. Oh, it's free. it's and minus this 10 is, right now. We're dying. Yeah, I'm like... I don't even know why we're getting here. Why is your window down? Uh, because I came, I got excited. I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> put, put some glass in there. My gosh. Buddy. Vancouver's not ready for this. Like at least in Kelowna, like everyone's got winter tires and some people have like studded tires. Not here. Not here. So the first time it happened, it was it was a complete disaster. Uh, I, you haven't been on Bridgeport yet. Bridgeport's a sheet of ice. I, I think Richmond said, forget it. We're not even gonna bother. Then I'm yeah. clearing and it. And then like, even look here, at this. our strata, uh, that's how they kept it. Look at our side, it's kind of clean. Cause yeah. I, I had guys come in you Scrape. did personal. But still, look how bad it is after Dude. scraping and salt, and it's just terrible. Like, my right hand holding this phone is absolutely <laughs> freezing. Like, not to sound like a whiny little bum, but it, it's it's actually really crazy. You know, like the Arctic. You didn't want to wash the SVR for me. Uh, it got dropped off late, man. I <laughs> I'm, just I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Hold on, I'm going to put all this stuff in there. This is cool. Yeah, let me put all my yeah, stuff away. I'm tempted to go and get, like... No, no BS snacks and some drinks like water and stuff in case I actually get stranded, which I really don't. Just from sitting in the back of the truck, that's how cold it is. That is, uh, that is a frozen bottle of leftover water. That's funny. Okay, boys and girls, I've said my goodbyes to the crew at SR and we are going to, what do we got? Do we have fuel? Of course not. There's no fuel in here. It's a rule with SR and August. If they give me a car, can't have fuel. You can see the fuel. We got like a little less than a quarter of a tank. So let's go get fuel. I need food and water anyhow, just in case. Maybe a blanket, maybe some firewood, you know? Let's start a fire in the middle of the freeway if we get stuck. All right, bye guys, we're off. <laughs> Let's go before the truck gets me. <laughs> oh yeah, slippery. Like skirting around here. Look at like all the countermeasures I gotta make here. <laughs> Holy shit, it's like pure ice. I hit the brakes and slid all the way to the stop sign and wasn't sure if I was gonna end up in the intersection. Wall. This is gonna be a long drive home. Well, I got the truck. The roads are sheets of ice. This is gonna be a long drive home. It is gonna be anything but fast. So, 
Don't wait for dinner for me. <laughs> what do we have here? I was like, is this snowing? No. Nope. Well, it is snowing, but it's just coming off the back of this rig. I guess they didn't, they didn't want to clear the top of the trailer, I guess, before they drove away. Thank you. Uh, now I need to survive. The hole is slippery. Now I need snacks to survive. So we've got to make sure I have some snacks, some water, you know, maybe a little chili. Probably not some chili, but we need to do things. We probably should get some stuff that's healthy, like ketchup chips. And something to make sure that since I've been up since four in the morning, now unfortunately, uh, I don't think I have Celsius as an option, so I'll have to get some coffee. We are in the thick of it now, guys. We are on Highway Through Hell, uh, officially known also as the Coquihalla. And uh, yeah, it's bad. It's all ice on the road. It is uh, pretty beautiful though, to be honest. Like, um, man, it's just gorgeous with the kind of bit of blue sky peeking through, a little overcast. At least it's not snowing. You can imagine how dangerous this is if it was a blizzard right now, you can't see anything. And this is a major route for obviously supplies. So you got these massive trucks. And that was what mainly the show was about, was like a lot of these 18 wheeler uh, vehicles, if they don't show up with the proper chains and equipment and tires, they get jackknifed and they block the whole road and it becomes a complete disaster. You know, other vehicles like this ended up, you know, smashing into the, the rigs because they're blocking the road. Look at this. Ah, man, I, it's just so stunning. So as dangerous as it is, you gotta pay attention to what you're doing up here, but it is a beautiful drive if you just take your time and know your equipment. Yeah, so this is gorgeous. I'm just, I'm just cruising, taking my time. Slow and steady wins the race. The whole point of this is to get back to my family, so get back to my family safely. And uh, the Range Rover's got full on snow, ice, winter tires. You know, the thing you really got to watch out for are people who are not prepared and have chosen to drive up here. It's very dangerous. And that old show was really all about that. It was really about bad winter conditions. You know, sometimes people couldn't help it. But a lot of the time there were, there were you know, drivers that were long haul truck drivers and just got caught off guard, didn't realize how dangerous it is up here in winter. And the weather can change like, like so quick. Um, there are signs all over up here that say, you know, high uh, mountain terrain, weather conditions change quickly. So, but it's gorgeous up here. Like, man, it's so beautiful. The uh, highways companies just crush the snow removal. Like it snowed like four to five feet, I think up here over the last three or four days. And look at it, they've got it down to practically you know, a thin layer of ice just above the pavement. In the right lane, it looks like it's almost down to the actual asphalt. So my hat's off to them. And I'm just gonna be safe and enjoy this winter wonderland, you guys. Just beautiful up here, you guys. But what I wanted to show you wasn't what's outside. I wanted to show you proof of how cold it is. That's right, it is minus 25 minus 25 do the math on that one it's freezing <laughs> well i made it safe and sound all the way back to Kelowna. beautiful christmasy trees everyone's got their lights up and uh everyone's driving very very slow look at the traffic my goodness that's just like a sheet of ice by the way look look at the glisten from the ice. Um, I'm about 10 minutes, well, maybe with this traffic, a little more, away from my house. And uh, I'll chat with you guys once I get there. Oh yeah, that is sheer ice, slippery. I'll uh, chat with you guys once I get to my house. Look at that. I made it home. Giddy up. Ha <laughs> Oh. Where are the lights in here? I don't even know. There we go. 
or touch. What an adventure. That was crazy. Huge shout out to Mike and Matt again from August Luxury Motorcars for letting me use this so I could get home. I would have never made it without them. Okay, I'll grab my luggage out the back and then I can back this thing up. Oh, this thing is dirty. I made it. I made, I made it through the storm. I was uh, about to paint my finger like with nail polish, but then oh, gotcha. But then Hi. I uh, washed it off, Hi. and this is what happened. Hi. Hi. How are you? Let's see. What'd you do? Oh, she's <laughs> her nails. oh my gosh. Hi, Dino. Hi, Dino. Hi, Roma. Hi, Dino. Hi. Oh. Hi, Bobby. Hi, mister. I know, Roma's all over you. Dino. He's like, Wait, Dad, come here. look at this one. This one's crazy. Let me put the Range Rover away, okay? All right. I gotta park. Take my shoes off. I'm Hello. purposely standing on the mat because I know Hello. wifey doesn't like it when I track snow in. Hello. Oh, yeah. The house was cleaned yesterday. So. Hello. Say Merry Christmas, everybody. Don't make me Merry Christmas, back everybody. Here. Don't ship me back to California. <laughs> Dino. You're not gonna come say hi to me? Hi, Roma. Hi, Roma. Dino, hey, what's this? Come, come here, come here. He's like, she steals all my attention, doesn't she? Come here. Hi, hi. Oh, he came right up. Hi, Dino. Hi. No, I'm a puppy. Roma? How's my Dino? Hi, hi. Oh, yeah. Good boy. He wants to go follow mom now. He's like, where's mom going? Roma, hi. Uh, Hi, sweetie. Hi. Mom got uh, Santa photos yeah. for Monday, but then she forgot about them two days later. So she had to hurry book me Santa photos. What's up, bud? And, mm. um, in... They're so excited. In Canada, they don't sell bugles anymore. Like, forever. Oh. I missed you. <laughs> hey? I want to show you something. Hi, sweetie. What's up? How you doing? Why are your ears back? Hey? Hmm? You say hi to everybody? Yeah, you're getting so big. Every time I come back from a trip, you're thicker. Hey? Yeah, mm -hmm. yes. What? You want to sit on my lap? There you go. <laughs> kind of throw you up there. Hi. Dad, hi. Can you see I'll come upstairs in a sec. I gotta go park the Range Rover. Okay. All right, guys. What an adventure. I'll see you in the next portion of this. I think I'll do a multi day thing. Hello. You guys put lights store. in the trees. I have a candy store. I like it. You have a candy store? Yeah. Very cool. Okay, I'm going to park. Ooh, it's chilly out here. One thing I wanted to show you because I'm grabbing my stuff out of it. The uh, Range Rover has a carbon hood. It's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys saw that before. But it's like painted on this side and then this side's all carbon in the center. Looks good. I mean, it's obviously super dirty right now, but... Man, it is cold here. I grab all my stuff. All right. <laughs> Wifey's looking for something. Wifey's in the middle of cooking Christmas dinner, you guys. Merry Christmas from everybody at Daily Driven Exotics to you, the DD fam. Thank you so much for your love and support throughout all the years. It's 10 years. DD has been going for 10 years next January. I mean, technically, it's been 10 years now because I had my first Lamborghini Gallardo and took it up uh, snowboarding at Mount Washington in the middle of a blizzard. It was pretty cool. I have photos of it on the gram if you guys want to check that out. A little throwback. But uh, man, what a journey. I couldn't be more grateful for everybody supporting us. And um, I'm looking forward to, who knows, the next 10 years. Imagine that. That'd be crazy. Uh, 10 years. 
Fifty-four. I'd be fifty-four. Fifty-four. I'd be fifty-three. We're a month off. I turn forty-four next month. I'm literally just looking at this YouTuber and she's saying how old she would be in ten years. Yeah. And we have, uh, of course, the pooches have had a fun-filled day. Look at Dino, is laying on the couch, kind of just relaxing, snoozing. And we got Roma over here. She's relaxing too. Miss Roma. Hi, Roma. Oh, it's okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I didn't scare you. I think Presley. Presley on the crazy cart. Presley got spoiled this year. Look at all the stuff. She's got her crazy cart. Show them a donut, Presley. Show them the DDUA. All right. So, anyhow, thank you so much. Sending you guys love from my family to yours. I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas. Presley's doing donuts. Start them young guys. I love you. And the build series on the, uh, well, I'm gonna call it now the, the, the dedicated Tire Slayer 6.0 to the haters. That will continue tomorrow. So make sure you guys go and check that video out. Uh, John's done an amazing job and he's done it really in like an incredible timeline. And uh, you'll see that he got so much of the back end done already in yesterday's video. So if you haven't seen that, go and check it out. If you don't even know what I'm talking about, you have to go check this out. It's the Huracan supercharged again, getting my dream kit on it, the Super Trofeo Evo kit. And we've got some one of one items always, of course, for DDE on our builds going into that build. But uh, check it out. We'll have another upload tomorrow and then a video two days after that. And the car, well, you'll see, it's pretty much gonna be done as far as the build goes. And then we gotta choose paint and wheels and some of the fun little details. So I'll see you guys soon. I'll see you in the next video anyhow. And all the best, by the way, for 2023. Let's go crush it. Let's make another epic year together, the DD fam. Peace.